just paste right in there um, your WAR file. And it should generate some good stuff. So Tomcat needs to be started first of all. Start it and there you go. Solar uh, has been generated. This is the web app part of it. Alright, so one thing we need to do here is start WordPad, but start it as Administrator. Um, now open, open up. Uh, just go back to your Tomcat directory. Program files, Apache software, Tomcat 6.0, web apps, and then uh, solar. Go to web. Inf or no, actually, uh, where is it? Uh, uh, shoot, it is a web inf. Sorry. All documents. Web XML. What we want to edit here is scroll down and you find inv entry. Uh, take out the comments. Right here is what we want to change. Put your solar home here. We want to put the path to our solar configuration files. Um, and that is <coughs> uh, just going to use the example that they give. So go into your SIGWIN, go to home, solar, go to example, and then solar. Um, and config or hold on one second let me just yeah okay so the path is right here so just do you can do properties on any of those things and just grab this path copy and paste it into end entry environment entry value and that ought to do it, except for you also need to edit, it should be towards the bottom, uh, or somewhere. Alright, right here, it's a param value xxx. Uh, just delete the x's, and then you can save this file and now you go restart Tomcats or in this case okay huh. interesting Stop the service. Start the service. All right. So let me just. All right. So one thing to check to make sure it worked. HTTP forward slash localhost. 8080 is the port number for Tomcat, and then Solar. Okay. So you have your solar admin and this should take you to the admin page. Yes, it does. Alright, so you can search right now, but there's nothing in there because you haven't run a uh, crawl yet. So now we go back to Nutch. 
here. Go to our nuts directory. Go to runtime local. Uh, config maybe. Hmm. No, I think it's Ben actually. Yeah, it's Ben. Do new folder URLs or you know whatever you want to call it, and then new text document. Uh, it's gonna you can call this whatever as well. Notch text, uh, and then put HTTP. Um, uh, I don't know. Dot Parkinson. Dot org. This is specifying what site you want to start the crawl from. All right. Now I need to look up a regex filter real quick. Okay. Um. So yeah. Go back into um, config. And there's a file called should be reg x URL filter, which is a uh, uses regular expressions to for patterning. Um, open this in WordPad. Uses regular expressions to like you know accept whatever website you want to search on, uh, what the domain is, and what names can be searched on. Um, so you can skip things that are, you know, like it says here, like quarries, if it's like submitting a quarry or something like that. Um, Alright, so what you want to add is plus caret HTTP uh, um, and you can copy and paste this from the internet. I just grabbed it off of there because I don't really understand regular expressions all that well nor do I care uh, okay and then at the end of it you can tag on www.parkinson.org um, or this is if you only want to search the domain of www.parkinson.org, anything in that domain. Or you can just do this, um, which is, for, if you're going to do a big crawl, then this is probably more what you want to do. Uh, that just searches everything. Um, I don't, there's a ton of information on regular expressions and stuff. I don't really know. I know very much very little about it uh, so that's just using those examples should get you by the alright so save that now now we need to alright try a crawl See if this works. Alright, we're still um, in that same directory. You can run nutch crawl URLs, specifying the folder where the URL files are kept, um, the directory where you want to keep your crawl data. And crawl it, uh, call it my crawl uh, with depth of, let's see. And top and four, uh, which should keep it really, really small. All right, so let's just try that to begin with. This isn't even sending it to solar yet. All right, seems to be working. OK. 
Okay. Oh, right. Okay. You also have to name, add your agent name, which uh, I forgot what file that's in, so give me one sec. Okay, apparently it's in the Nutch site XML, which is right there. So it's in your runtime local config. So let's open with rootpad. And what you want to put in is To reload this whole thing. It just doesn't isn't aware of it. So hold on. Let me Alright, so what I realized was there's a site XML and then there's a default XML. So Add that to notch default XML, it's right above the other one. And save it, and hopefully, should work. There we go. Alright, so now you have your crawl data. Right. tried to overwrite file. Anyway, let's try a different folder. Directory equals my 